So this is another look at the uh, Rio Link camera that I put up the other day. I'll just give you a bit of a close-up at it. And you should see on this uh, slightly delayed video there, this is a live feed of the garden, so you can see Hopefully if you see me moving my hand around here, it will appear on that image there. So that's a live feed. You can watch this from anywhere, anywhere really uh, that you can get an internet connection. And I can take a photo, I can record live on here, I can record footage. Obviously that's, that's um, one way to capture um, footage and you can play it back here on the playback and have a look at uh, footage that you've selected in the past. You've also got settings here that allow you to change the uh, encoding resolution, the stream type, and the maximum bit rates and bits and bobs like that. You can have a look at the on-screen display. You can change the name of the camera, change whether the date is displayed and where the name appears on the camera. You can set up um, the sensitivity for the motion detection and the schedule. So I've got the schedule or schedule, depending on how you say it. I've got the schedule set from uh, midnight to 5 a.m. So it will start the motion detection between those times and I can set the sensitivity here as well uh, with that last sort of scroller there. I've got it set to 43 because uh, the cat keeps setting it off and various moths and stuff. But uh, you can set the uh, sensitivity there. You've got, uh, you can either send an email or you can set a push notification which will vibrate your phone through this app. You can also have FTP uploads, but you'll have to use the um, the uh, uh, the PC app to set that up. You've got your email settings here, and uh, the settings for that are all through my Gmail account. So it uses secure outbound mail to get that set up. Some of these options don't work on this type of camera. It just depends on the uh, type of camera that you've got. So here, that's a blank screen. Uh, this app is fairly generic and for a number of the Rio Link cameras. So you can see the settings, the build, uh, you can reboot, restore to default. Um, and you can also um, go into the settings here and edit the device and basically add another one. So you can add, have multiple cameras. So you can have one covering the back of your house, one covering the front. Um, so there we have the image. We've got this PTZ or PTZ, depending on whereabouts in the world you are, control, and you can adjust the focus. But again, this camera doesn't do any of that. It's uh, a fixed uh, focal four megapixel camera, uh, but some cameras do allow that. Here's the stream settings. You can sort of set the type of um, stream you've got there. I, I have clear because it just looks quite nice there. And again, you can go back into the settings and adjust the bitrate, etc. You can see the bitrate here. But on the screen, you can adjust the resolution uh, up or down, depending on how you want it to look. And then you can turn the sound on, on and off. Uh, this camera doesn't seem to have any sound. I'll just try it anyway. Um, see if you can hear anything. Turn it up. I'm talking. Nope, you can't hear a thing. So I'll just show you a little bit behind the scenes of how I've put all this together. So basically out of the back of there is one black cable which I have very, um, not very neat, neatly put into uh, the back of the guttering here but it can go behind this fascia board here which is where it should have gone and then it goes into this hole which again isn't very neat, it's not completed yet but that cable goes in and you can have two outputs. One is for power, one is for your ethernet feed. So if you go into my garage, here is the uh, power socket. If you've got power over ethernet, you won't need that, but uh, I haven't. And then there's the ethernet cable that goes back to my router. And that is as simple as that. 